time, in Padua, there was a wealthy man named Baptista Minola, and he had two beautiful daughters. One of them was named Bianca, and the other was called Catherine. Ouch! And she was a little bit prickly around the edges. So these two beautiful girls lived in Padua, and Bianca, because she was so beautiful and so sweet, had many suitors, men who wanted to marry her. One of them was named Hortensio, and the other was a very old man named Signor Gremio. And they both wanted to marry beautiful Bianca. But Signor Baptista said, gentlemen, gentlemen, I won't marry either of you to Bianca until I have a husband for the older sister, Kate. Anyway, nobody wanted to marry Kate. And Kate, pff, frankly, didn't care because they're all so stupid anyway. So that's where the play begins. And in this uh, little village, there come two strangers in the opening scene. Here they come. Lucentio and his trusty servant, Tranio. Now, Lucentio is very excited to be in Padua because he's going to study. He's been waiting and waiting to get here to Padua. He really wants to learn everything he can. And Tranio, you know, he's a little more interested in meeting girls or something like that. But just as they arrive to the city, what's that? They hear a big commotion and they hide. And what's the big commotion? It's the two girls coming in, it's their papa and the suitors. And the suitors are saying, please, please, Baptista, let us woo your daughter, beautiful Bianca. And Baptista says, no, 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 you know how I feel about it. I won't marry off Bianca until I have a husband for Kate. But in the meantime, if any of you know any school teachers, I would be very happy to have them in my house to instruct my two beautiful girls. And that's it. I'm not saying any more about it. And Baptista goes out. And so these two put their heads together and they think. And Gremio says, well, I'm going to look for a school teacher to instruct my fair Bianca. And Hortensio says, you know, really what we need, Signor Gremio, it's more than a school teacher. We need to find a husband for Kate. So these two go off to look for somebody. And out from hiding fall Lucentio and Tranio. And Lucentio is just struck dumb. He's fallen in love with beautiful Bianca. So he says, oh, Tranio, I burn, I pine, I perish, Tranio, if I achieve not this young girl. And Tranio goes, woohoo, master, I thought we came here to study. And uh, he says, sir, if love have touched you, not remains but so. We got to do something about it. So what do you think? What should we do? And they put their heads together, these two guys. Oh, oh I got it, I got it. The father was looking for schoolmasters to instruct the daughters. <gasps> Lucentio, you dress up like a school teacher and you can teach Bianca and at the same time you can woo her and get her to like you. Hey, great idea! Is it and Lucentio thinks and he goes, oh, I know Tranio. You can dress up like me. So you can pretend to be Lucentio. I'll dress up like a schoolmaster to woo Bianca and everything will be perfect. And Tranio says, hey, great idea. Quick, change clothes. So one of them takes off their colorful scarf and they put on their uh, other scarf and Lutranio, the servant, gets to dress up like his master Lucentio, so he's pretty happy about that. And they look at each other and go, oh, it's a perfect plan! And they go, okay, let's go make it happen. So these boys run off. And now another stranger comes to town and that is... Petruccio. And he comes with his good servant, Grumio. So, my good friend Petruccio and Grumio, don't fight, gentlemen, don't fight. I'm here. And they go, mwah, mwah, nice to see you, because they're in Italy, remember? And uh, Hortensio says, but Petruccio, why did you come here to Padua after all this time? And Petruccio says, well, my father recently passed away, and I've decided that it's time for me to take a wife. <gasps> a wife? Signor Hortensio starts thinking and he says, Petruccio, shall I be blunt with you and uh, just suggest you marry a real shrew of a woman, but she's going to be rich, very rich. And Petruccio's ears perk up and he says, rich? Well, if she's going to be rich, 
then that's great. I'm for her no matter how shrewish or pestery she is. And Hortensia says, okay, okay, great. I'll bring you to her. But in the meantime, I, ha I need you to help me with another plan. I, Senor Hortensio, am going to dress up <laughs> like a school teacher to woo my love, Bianca. So I need you, Signor Petruchio, to introduce me to her father as a school teacher. And Petruchio says, okay, okay, I'll do it, no matter what. Let's go, let's go meet this girl. I'm ready to sign the papers and it's done. If she's rich, she's mine. And in that moment, in comes <coughs> Signor Gremio, old Signor Gremio. And he's feeling pretty proud of himself because he found a school teacher to instruct Bianca. And which school teacher did he find? Lucentio, who's disguised, remember, as a school teacher. So Gremio, the old man, is going to offer Lucentio, disguised as a school teacher, to Baptista's father. So these two gentlemen come in, and Hortensio says, Oh, Signor Gremio, nice to see you. I found a man, Petruchio, to marry Catherine. And in <gasps> that moment, in comes dun, da, 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 Tranio, dressed up. Lucentio. And he says, gentlemen, God save you. Which is the way to Baptista's house? And these two go, uh, Baptista's house, why are you going to Baptista's? And he says, well, I hear she has two beautiful daughters and I'd like to woo them. <gasps> and they go, oh, you can't woo Bianca. She's the choice love of Signor Hortensio and the chosen of Signor Gremio. And Petruchio says, and you can't have Kate, the shrewish one. She's for me. And Trania goes, gently, gently, my masters, don't get so worked up. You know, uh, Helen of Troy had a thousand wooers, so one more can fair Bianca have, and so she shall. Lucentio, who's really Tranio, will make another And everybody suitor. says, okay, all right, that's a good idea. Let's go. So everybody trundles off towards Signor Baptista's house. Now. Back at Baptista's house, however, things are a little tumultuous, and Kate has tied up her sister Bianca and is beating her. <laughs> and she says, tell me, beautiful, sweet Bianca, everybody loves you, nobody loves me. And just as she's about to hit her sister, <gasps> in runs Papa, and he says, oh, no, 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 and he breaks up the girls, and he says, Bianca, Bianca, go inside, so Bianca runs away. And he says, oh, Katharina, what are you doing to me? You're always causing trouble. And Kate says, oh, I see how it is. You love Bianca more than me. Well, fine. And she runs away too. And Baptista, the papa, is like, oh gosh, what am I going to do with these girls? And in that moment, in come all the gentlemen. Petruchio, Hortensio, who's now disguised as a school teacher, Signor Gremio, and Tranio, who's dressed up like Lucentio. And Lucentio, who's dressed up like a schoolmaster, who's with Gremio. With me so far? Okay. So they all come trundling in, and Baptiste says, oh, gentlemen, my goodness, what are you all doing here? And Gremio says, well, sir, I brought you a schoolmaster to instruct my fair Bianca. Here he is. And he presents Lucentio. This is a schoolmaster well learned in Latin. And Baptista says, oh, thank you very much. He'll be one of the tutors to my daughter. And Petruchio says, oh, and sir, I've come to woo your daughter, Catherine. And he says, oh, really? And he says, yes, I hear she's a bit rough around the edges, but uh, that's fine with me. Why don't we sign the papers right now and get married? And Baptista says, oh, uh, 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 sir, um, maybe you should meet her before you uh, decide to marry her. And uh, Petruchio says, well, that's all one to me, but I did bring you a schoolmaster to instruct the girls. Here, his name is Licio, and this is Hortensio, dressed up like a schoolmaster. Sir, accept of him. So Baptista says, oh, uh, Signor Licio, you're welcome, and you can also instruct my daughters. So these two go off, dressed up as schoolmasters, to instruct the two girls. So Baptista looks around and he says, but what about you, sir? I don't recognize you. And Tranio says, oh, sir, my name's Lucentio. And hearing of your beautiful daughter, Bianca, I too have decided to woo her for and my wife. And he gives wife. the musical instrument to Hortensio, dressed up like a school teacher. And he gives the books to Lucentio, who's also dressed up like a school teacher. And they go off to teach the girls.
and everybody's about to trundle off and Pachuki says, oh, sir, you know, I really can't wait around for all this talking. He said, I'd really like to meet your daughter, get it over with, sign the paperwork, get the money for the dowry and be on my way. And Baptiste says, well, sir, uh, I think you should meet her first and uh, see if you can get her love. That will be the big so thing. Everyone goes, all right, and they go out. So in that moment, he says, oh, I hear her coming, and in comes Catherine. Huh? And they fall in love the first time they see each other. But they can't, they can't admit that. And Kate says, well, what are you doing here? And he says, oh, beautiful Catherine, I heard about your mildness and your sweetness and your beauty, and I've decided that you will be my wife. And she goes, ha, yeah, right. And she tries to run away, and he stops her. And she tries to hit him, and he grabs her. And he's so oh, darling, you're so beautiful, you're so sweet. And whatever she does, he doesn't let her get away. And he says, all right, here comes your father. Never make denial, just go along with me. So in comes her father, Baptista, and he says, well, Petruchio, how did it go with my daughter? And Petruchio says, oh, it went so well together that we agreed Sunday we're going to get married. And Kate says, I'll see you hanged on Sunday. <gasps> And Baptista says, um, Petruchio, she says that she's going to see you hanged on Sunday. And Petruchio says, no, 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 no. We agreed that when we were among other people, she would still seem like a nasty woman. But you can't imagine how much she loves me. When it's just the two of us, she puts her arms around my neck, she kisses me, and Kate goes, <gasps> and he says, mm -hmm. he gives her a quick kiss, and he says, well, goodbye, my darling. I'll see you on Sunday. I'm going to Venice to buy rings and things and find a ring. Ciao! And he goes off. And Kate oh, is just stumbstruck. She can't think of anything to say because what could she say? And she walks off. And Baptiste is very happy because finally he found a husband for his daughter Kate. So Gremio and Tranio come in and they say, Well, Signor Baptista, now that you've found a husband for Kate, let's talk about Bianca. And Baptista says, all right, whoever can offer her the best dowry, the most money, she will marry uh, the richer. And Tranya goes, well, I have about three or four of those houses that Grimio has, and I have an Argosy, I have a bunch of ships, and I have about 20 times whatever Signor Gremio could possibly offer next. <gasps> and Gremio says, well, I have offered everything I have, I don't have any more. Ha! Huh? Says Lucentio, who's Tranio. Uh, then she's mine by all the world. And Senor Baptista says, I have to admit, Senor Lucentio, your offer is the best. Bianca will be bride to you. But uh, you mentioned that all those things belong to your father. So if you die before Bianca, then, then what happens to her? Uh, so you're going to need to have your father sign off on all these things that you just promised. And then you can marry Bianca. And if you can't get your father to sign off on these things, she'll be bride to Signor Gremio. And he goes off. And Gremio goes, ha! Gotcha! And he goes off. And Tranio thinks, I'm trying to do a good job. I'm trying to help my master Lucentio. So, since I have already dressed up like Lucentio, I don't see a reason why I shouldn't just find a guy on the street and dress him up like the father of Lucentio, Vincentio, and he can come here and sign off the paperwork for all this money that I'm saying I'm giving Bianca. Yeah, that's a good plan. And he runs off. Now, in the garden, there's a lesson happening. Bianca is being tutored by two suitors of hers that are dressed up like schoolmasters, Lucentio and Hortensio. And both of them are always trying to get near her. She, of course, likes Lucentio, so she first has her little Latin lesson with Lucentio. And they're about to kiss, and Hortensio butts his little head and he says, Oh, madam, my instrument's in tune. So Lucentio has to sit down for a little bit. And Hortensio has written a love letter, and he presents it to Bianca. But she goes, Oh, I don't like that at all. I'm going away. It's time to get ready for my sister's wedding, which is tomorrow. And ba Bianca runs away. And Lucentio says, Well, I have no reason to stay if she's gone, and he runs after her. And Hortensio thinks, these two look like they're in love. This isn't going according to my plan at all. I'm going to watch you two better yet. And he goes off. 